is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. Newmarket, headquarters of the turf, is crowded for the first leg of the autumn double, the Cesarewitch. The popular handicap and sunny weather bring heavy traffic and light planes to the course. And the presence of the Princess Royal raises hopes of a first-time royal victory. In the paddock, it's a record field of 38 runners, with the overnight favourite Lord Astor's French squadron looking the pick of the bunch. But the crowd's money is for Speciality, who studs favourite. Over at the tapes, the huge field soon comes into line, and away they go, with two and a quarter miles ahead, the lightweight setting the pace. At the back of the field, Pellerain, with seven stone nine to carry, thinks the handicappers treated him unfairly and throws jockey F. Durr, much to his discomfiture. Through the misty sunlight comes the closely bunched cavalcade. Round the bend, ten furlongs to go, and it's Cider Apple, number four, Blue Sapphire, number 36, and Tommy Carey's Mont Prince, number 23, disputing the lead. The King's Philly above board is nowhere in sight. But now, in the final straight, watch E. Smith take above board number 22 to the front, the big climax of the race. Yes, the King's above board wins in majestic fashion by six lengths, the first victory by a reigning monarch in the history of the race. Hats off, the King wins. Ah!